Okay, let's bring Jordan back. I feel like we're kind of getting back to more normal weather after we had some really well, I feel great. nice, hot weather. If it, it does feel nice because it's cool outside. It's Good cool. Weather. We get to relax a little bit because it was just so hot. It'll get hot again. Don't worry, okay? If you're missing out and you're like, I just want more heat, don't you worry. I can wait till what July 5th for the 80s. That's for sure. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so we're going to be in the 60s this week. We will rebound, but here's a look at highs from today. Today was one of the warm days of the week. As you can see, statewide map here, <coughs> excuse me, you got 60s on the coast, 70s around Puget Sound, southern part of Washington at 80, and then, of course, eastern Washington was one of the warmer spots, 80s and 90s there in the Yakima Valley and Columbia Basin. Now, the wind speed is going to be key, right? Uh, most of that wind flow is coming in out of the west now along the strait where it is the breeziest around Port Angeles uh, and also around Whidbey Island. And then notice coming up out of the south around Puget Sound. But the main trajectory is a westerly flow. So throughout the day tomorrow, the cloud cover is going to be stubborn. All right. And because that cloud layer is so dense, I would not be surprised if we saw some drizzle in the morning hours. OK, by the time we head into midday in the afternoon, we'll be mostly cloudy with some sun breaks. But temperatures should be shy of that 70 degree mark for many locations and only topping out in the mid to upper 60s. Now, there's not much to note here when we take a look at your satellite and radar. Nothing on radar and on satellite. It's very hit and miss, but what we're going to keep an eye on is the flow and the direction of it. Okay, and as that piles in, we're going to start to see a disturbance materialize and then eventually bring us a few more showers. So let's start off with tomorrow morning. Here's 630. There's the cloud deck I'm talking about. Notice the little bit of green right there that just says, hey, we've got some drizzle potential around Western Washington tomorrow morning. Uh, the cloud cover will um, become less dense, but it's going to take its sweet time. OK, so we're going to keep mostly cloudy skies for a good chunk of your morning hours in the afternoon. Not too bad. All right, we go into Wednesday now. The cloud covers back drizzle likely yet again in a couple locations. And then throughout the day, we begin to see a little bit more of this weak disturbance materialize. OK, this is way in the evening on Wednesday, 8 o'clock at night. We have maybe a convergence zone developing in two spots here that we're going to keep our eye on. And so we could maybe be introducing a couple spotty showers. So this week looks cool and looks eh, relatively damp. Next week looks relatively damp or it could be above average in terms of precipitation chances here along the northwest and temperature wise yet again trending below average. So that means we might have a chance over the next couple of weeks to be on the cooler side rather than the hot side like last week. Now, with that being said, we still have days in the 70s. OK, we're still looking good here or there. That's just the, the general trends. So tomorrow we're borderline 70, mostly cloudy. Wednesday and Thursday will be the coolest days by far with a few showers here and there. Friday is the first day of summer and it'll deliver pretty nice at 73. Uh, the weekend so far not looking too bad, but a new disturbance coming next week.